bikini bottom pet show today. Good thing I put those notes there, otherwise I could have forgotten. And I wouldn't want to do that, because the bikini bottom pet show is where you gotta go to see the best pets in town. Not that any other pets stand a chance against my buddy Gary. He's the bestest pet in the whole world. Love you, Gare Bear. Whoa! The show starts in an hour. Hey, Gare, time to Gary. Whoa! Boom! Gary! 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 Looks like another beautiful day here in Bikini Bottom. It, uh -huh. Gary! <sighs> Gary! Oh, hiya, Squidward. Wow! <laughs> Gary! 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 Gary, there you are. What are you doing here when today is the day we get to show everyone else you're the best pet in the whole world? Now for a quick checklist. Let's see. Eyes talk reflexes? Check. Slime viscosity. Hi, Squidward. Again, Squidward. Yellow. Check. And last but not least, a quick undercarriage check. Oh, okay. Maybe we better skip that one. Let's see. Yep, that about does it. Good thinking, buddy. I'll carry your shell. <laughs> Stand up straight. Posture is everything in appearance. Roll over. Your newly trimmed hairstyles highlight your regality. Huh. People sure seem to treat their pets differently here. That's a good boy, Foofy. Look at your luxurious mane. Every self-respecting snail has one. Luxurious mane? How could I forget? Accessories! Your diamond-studded leash. I always use an old rope. Guess that's not good enough. Of course, there's the cherry on the beauty cake, the glossy painted shell. And last but not least, well-maintained oral hygiene. Just look at your pearly whites. Uh, Gary. Anyway, we'd best run along, Foofs. Your pedicure is in half an hour. Pedicure? Whew, I didn't realize how much went into this. Oh, don't be so protective of me, Gary. I know I've been a horrible parent, but no longer. From this moment on forth, I vow to give my Gary the utmost in empty frivolity to live by the standards of snail grooming set forth by that guy. What's up? No, not you. Okay. Enough dilly-dallying. We gotta get down to business. Hold still, Gary. Come on, buddy. Ah, ah, there. Oh, you're like a little cuddly present. Stop. And the piece de resistance. Glow in the dark pink. Hey, where are you going? Gary, wait. We gotta go back to the pet show. Because we have got to show those other pets that we are just as fancy as they are. Oh, come on, Gary. Don't be this way. I'm doing it for you, not me. That's what I like to hear, because now I can bring this out. Your very own studded collar with two rows of diamonds. Here, try it on. Now let's get back out there and knock them out of their shells. Hey, SpongeBob, what you doing? Patrick, I'm so glad you just happened to show up. Help me. <laughs> Gary, stop it. I'm only doing this because I love you. Gary, look, it's him. Come now, Foo. Keep your tail up, up, up. Hello! Sorry to bother you. Just wanted to get your opinion on my snail, Gary. <laughs> my boy, you don't seem to get it, do you? There's only one way to prove your pet's beauty. By winning the pet contest. 
but I wouldn't bother, seeing as how Foofy and I have won for the past five years. <laughs> oh, well, enough mingling with the common folk. Let's go win our medal, Foof. This is it, Gary. This is our time to shine. Wow, Patrick, there's a whole lot of pet loving going on here today. Yeah. You and Gary don't have a chance. Excuse me, sir, but all non-pet owners must remain behind this rope. Now what am I going to do? I'm all alone behind this rope. Patrick, I'm right here. You don't understand SpongeBob. You'll never understand what it's like to be alone behind the red rope. <laughs> don't worry, Gary. He'll be back in time to see us win first place. Now let's go scope out the competition. There it is, Mrs. Squiggles, your new hairdo. There you go, Mopsies. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, oh Mopsies. Those shades slipped right off your little eyes. Luckily, I brought an extra smaller pair. Huh. Maybe you need some shades, huh, Gan? Silly boy, you're not supposed to eat the leash. Come on, buddy. Now let's try this cake. <sighs> Boy, these pets are gussied up today. Maybe we need a top hat or something to class it up a bit. Gary? Oh, thanks for reminding me. I didn't know your collar was loose. <laughs> now let's go get that top hat, buddy. Let's see. Uh huh. Decent stock length. Ooh, good hinge action. Ah, oh, foofy. Excellent brow stretch. Well defined eyelid capillaries. Foofy is looking as good as ever, Charles. Why, thank you, sir. Okay, let's have a look see, shall we? Ah, yes. Good spacing on the larynx. Nice gastric chamber. All within breed description. It's in the bag. Now, if we could just check the undercarriage. Ah! <gasps> Gary, no! Gary, you spit him out right now. I'm sorry, he usually only bites me. Display. At least I know you'd never behave like all these heathens, right, Foofy? Foofy? Foofy! No, Mopsies! No! No, wait! Wait! What have you done? What's this about? Does anyone speak snails? I speak a little bit, sir. I know what they're saying. They're saying, owners, 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 owners. Please, 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 please don't be this way. They're saying they don't want this type of pampering. They want to be treated as companions, not dress up dolls. They don't want scratchy outfits. They want to be scratched. They are protesting the indignity of wigs and jewel encrusted collars. And they want to be free from superficial and degrading pageants like these. <laughs> you were trying to 
to tell me that all along, weren't you, Gary? <laughs> well, I won't let it happen again. Well, I think we can all agree that this year's Groomer's Cup goes to... SpongeBob and his wonderful pet. Did you hear that, Gary? They're rewarding you for standing up and speaking out against injustice. Maybe these pageants aren't so superficial after all. What are you talking about? The snail didn't win. I was referring to your other pet. He's so adorable. Woof, woof. 